Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install PyCharm IDE community version on your Mac operating system. So PyCharm IDE you can use to develop Python application on your Mac operating system. So let's see how we can install it. Now, uh, first of all, just check whether Python is installed on your system or not. You can just open your terminal and then type uh, Python to check whether Python is installed or not. So just give Python and then it's going to give you the Python 2.7.10. This is the version which comes by default with Mac. And then to quit, you can just write exit here and then press enter and you will come out of this uh, shell. And you can also give Python 3 command, which you need to install. By the way, it doesn't come by default on your Mac operating system. So if you don't have Python 3, I will recommend you to install Python 3 also. So just give Python 3 uh, command and then press enter. And you can see Python 3.6.4 version uh, is also installed on my system. So I have both the version Python 2.7, which is the legacy version and Python 3.6, which is the uh, latest version. So now to download the PyCharm IDE, you just need to search for PyCharm on your favorite browser and the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm. So I'm going to just click on this link and once you are inside this uh, website, you will see uh, this button which says download now, but we don't want to click this button because uh, you can see Python IDE for professional development. So I don't want to uh, download the PyCharm for professional developers. I want to uh, download the PyCharm for community edition, right? So I will just click on this download button, not this uh, download button. So this at the top right of this website, you will see this download button. So I'm going to click on this one and then you will see the two versions. One is the professional version, which will cost you and you can buy it from uh, JetBrains or other is the community version. So if you want to evaluate or if you want to uh, just create some open source project, then this may be the perfect fit for those kind of applications. So we are going to just download the community version, which is free and open source according to this website. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, button which says download which is going to open this window which says thank you for downloading the PyCharm and then this DMG file uh, will uh, start downloading and you can see it's around 258 megabyte file so it will take some time to download so I'm going to pause this video until this uh, file is downloaded so now this DMG file is downloaded on my Mac operating system. So I'm going to just uh, click on this DMG file, which is going to open this DMG file, first of all. So once this DMG file is opened, we will be prompted to just copy uh, this DMG file to our applications folder. And once this DMG file is open, you will see this kind of window. And you will just need to drag this uh, PyCharm icon to your applications folder. So just drag and drop into your applications folder. And first of all, it's going to copy this uh, file into your applications folder. Now PyCharm is copied into my applications folder. You can see here. You can also uh, open this PyCharm by just clicking on your launch pad. And here you will be able to see the PyCharm icon. So I'm going to just click on this PyCharm icon, which is going to open this PyCharm IDE. And I'm going to minimize this applications folder. And I'm going to just close uh, this uh, window also. So it will just verify PyCharm IDE first of all. And then first of all, you will see this message which says PyCharm CE is an application downloaded from internet. Are you sure you want to open it? I will just say open, which is going to open PyCharm. For the first time when PyCharm uh, starts, it will ask you import PyCharm settings from a custom location, but we don't have the previous version of PyCharm. 
so we will just say do not import settings okay and then we will just click OK here and in the next window we will see the customization for the pie charm so if you want the default theme you can just leave it as default or if you want the dark theme you can choose the dark killer version I want the default theme so I will just leave uh, the theme as default and I'm going to just uh, click next and here uh, it says create launcher script so let's create a launcher script there's no harm in creating a launcher script so I'm going to just uh, check this uh, checkbox which says create a script for opening file and project from the command line okay so just uh, check this checkbox and then just click next which is featured uh, uh, plugins I don't want to uh, uh, install any plugins for now so I'm going to just say start using PyCharm and this is going to start the PyCharm right so now I'm going to just create a new project using uh, PyCharm so I'm going to click this option which says create a new project and once uh, we click on this we just need to provide the project name here I'm going to just give the project name uh, hello world and then I'm going to just click create which is going to create the hello world project for us and now it's creating the project and uh, after creating the project we will be able to see the project in the project window and also you will be able to see the tip of the day I'm going to just close tip of the day because I don't want to see it and you can see this project is created here so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a new Python file so I'm going to just right click on this uh, hello world project and then I'm going to say new and then I'm going to just choose Python file and I'm going to name it as uh, hello.py which is the Python extension and I'm going to click OK which is going to create my Python file and once this Python file is created I'm going to just print something so I'm going to just write print and in the parentheses and in the double quotes I'm going to just write uh, hello world and now I can run my code by just right clicking on this file so just right click on this file and then just choose this option which says run hello and this will just run this uh, code into the terminal and you can see the output here which is hello world so in this way you can download and install PyCharm on your Mac operating system I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now